Ladies and gentlemen, it only took us two years of me uh, visiting, a year of me living here, but finally, the Game Ashore has a sexual looking lounge. Check this out, ladies and gents. No, for those wondering, this is not my house that I've been building in the UK. I'm currently in the Los Angeles of America's US of A. Yeah, uh, but <laughs> um, I don't know what, I feel like this is a proud monumental moment for me to show you guys the swaggy new lounge. And the reason why this is swaggy is because we got shake weights up in this bitch. Look at this. Look at this. You like shake weights? We got shake weights. But no, the reason why this is so monumental is because it's not even Christmas and that tree is a year old. But over three years of me traveling to LA and stuff, the guys used to live here, T Martin, Mother Fuzzer, Jericho, and Goglove. Them guys all used to live here, four of them, in what is known as the Game of Shore. And I'll show you the, uh, the big sort of plaque to show it's the Game of Shore. This is, this is the Game of Shore. As you can see, there's penises, and I've just realized my battery's low, but I'm gonna have to make this quick. But after three years of me visiting here, people used to stay on couches, on mattresses on the floor. This place was always filthy and it just looked super, super shitty. It's really unfortunate to say that, but it did. It made it, it did its purpose, it did its purpose. People could stay on the couch, people could visit it. I was the guy who always stayed on the couch or visited on the, on the, on like, you know, the mattress on the floor. And uh, we'd always come in every week and there'd always be some random person staying on, like Champ Chong would come and stay, random YouTubers would come and stay, you know, everyone would come and stay, even I would come and stay over and stuff like that, but finally, we've done it, we've made it look all swaggy. Now, the actual main part of this video is because I wanted to show you that, but I wanted to just say, before the battery dies on this, on this camera, that if you guys picked yourself up an LTS shirt, either limited edition, standard edition, or just in general, any shirt from the Syndicate Original store, um, I need to give you guys this update. All shirts are being processed and worked on getting delivered and everything like that. Look at this sexual lighting. Ooh, la la la. Um, they are being processed. They are getting delivered. They are, everything's going ahead. But in 21 minutes, we sold over 3,800 shirts on the store. When we launched the LTS shirt, we sold out of all of them. Everything on the site sold out. Out, it was crazy. Now, just let you know, we usually handle maybe a few hundred orders a day, that sort of thing. And if you don't know who we is, we is a family-run business. My mom and my sister run the UK side of things. Now, the UK side of things alone got hit with just thousands of orders already. Now, they can, you know, happily deal with you know a few orders here, a few hundred orders there, and stuff like that. But when 3,800 orders come in. It bombards the shit out of you, and we really weren't expecting it. Like, I got on the plane and was like, yeah, the LTS shirts will launch an hour and after I set off and fly. Um, hopefully, you know, we can sell a few and it'll go really well, and people can, you know, over time, like, get themselves ha the hands-on, one of the golden LTS shirts, where there's 2,000 of available in the world. And uh, when I landed, my sister said, they're gone. They're all gone. We sold out of everything in, uh, like, 21 minutes. So that was, if that wasn't crazy enough, I don't know what was. But, just to summarize, all the shirts are getting packaged, and within like, say, the first six minutes of orders, that could have been a thousand shirts. So that took two days to take care of. The next 10 minutes after that could have been another thousand shirts. So that then is like, you know, doing 500 a day shirts. That's four days. So you guys just need to bear with us and understand that the delivery process is three to five working days. Now, if you don't get yours in three to five working days, it goes over by maybe six days. I entirely apologize, but it hopefully shouldn't do because I know my family is working super hard to get these shirts out to you guys on time like a boss. But I just want you guys to understand that if there is a possibility of it being late by day, we can only apologize and it uh, didn't mean to happen or anything like that. I, I think they're on course to get them all on target and everything, but some people are, are seeing other people, you know, get their LTS shirts of which came out on the same day, they ordered on the same day, but they don't have theirs yet. It's the difference of if you ordered in the first five minutes, compared to if you ordered in the last five minutes of having shirts. That's like the gap between one day and five days. So just understand that there's a big process going on behind this, guys, and my family is working really hard, like stressing like crazy. They, they had no weekend because they had to process all the orders and stuff, and they're working like champions to get it good. done. So if you guys do understand that, I really appreciate it. You are the MVPs, and uh, all I want to say is, oh, yeah, sweet, my uh, battery's nearly not dead. Yeah, um, thank you for all the support. Thank you for being epic. We will be restocking these shirts, and uh, the navy blue because, if you guys didn't know, um, these ones are always going to be available like for the rest of time. But uh, the LTS gold ones, they are limited edition 2000. And I'm going to show you the navy one right now. There's the navy one. Look at that bye bye. Absolutely sexy. So you got the blue one. I got the navy one. They're the design. So guys, just wanted to wrap that up and let you know about that. Uh, everything's looking sexually awesome. 
you know, finally tidied my room. Yeah, the bed's completely clean, but we've finally tidied on my office and stuff, looking good. Just got this little hamper to put my shit in. And uh, I'm gonna say goodbye right now, just in case the uh, the video dies off or anything, but, oh shit, I need something, whoops. But guys, thank you very much for all the support. Um, you, you have no idea how crazy it is to, to get all the support of you guys with the clothing line, because like I said, you know, I wanna make it like a, like a household brand thing, make it so you guys can grow up for the rest of your lives and see Syndicate Original Clothing everywhere and you guys know that where it started from, like how it, how it all progressed and all that and hopefully when I get back to the UK, I'm gonna be able to come in with my camera and film my mum and my sister just uh, on my neighbour Alice uh, doing, you know, just random shit like around the house. <laughs> uh, sorry, not around the house, around the office. Um, because I think we're getting an office upgrade soon because uh, you know so many orders and just like need to step up things and we've got a temporary worker and shit like that so um, once once we uh, step up our A game we're gonna go into my office once we step up the A game um, I'll be able to share it with you guys and kind of like you know do a bit of vlog and story of how it all goes I'm currently watching Hutch I'm watching Hutch play some um, what is it some destiny so that's about that guys so thank you very much for watching I hope you understand this is a bag with a green screen in it and stuff and wait a minute wait there's a guy who died in episode three <laughs> so yeah this is a yeah this is the bag with all the uh, just got a big like 20 foot green screen to go in here with like professional light and stuff so hopefully from a live stream from now on I might be able to have a green screen which could be epic so we'll see that goes thank you for being awesome love you guys faces stay absolutely boss mode and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna record some sims today so we'll see how that goes and uh, yeah, I'm going to go and tell that guy he died in episode 3 one more time. So, much love. Love you guys' faces and adios.